guys, so you're getting a close-up view of my mom and dad's kitchen before I totally redid the cabinets. And you're getting a view of the old cabinets. It's a maple or popular wood, just a very yellowy, orangey color. And we're gonna try to do a restoration hardware kind of gray look on these guys. Here's a picture of the other side. It's just showing two cabinets that me and my dad added to the kitchen for a little bit more storage. And these are oak cabinets, so we did a little bit of extra prep to these to keep the grain from coming out. So here's the base cabinets, and we're going to walk around this side here so you can see the side of the bar. We added beadboard to it. If you come around to the back here, it's just a flat back, and we decided that we were just going to paint it instead of putting beadboard because it's afraid we would hit the water lines. So we're playing it safe, and we're just going to paint it. And then I wanted to show you the end of each of the cabinets. We added beadboard as well. I've already got the base coat on this end. And I'm going to get started. So now you see me putting on the first color. Our first base color is chocolate and farmhouse paint. Farmhouse paint is a furniture paint that is chalk based. And you do not have to do any pre prep to the cabinets other than just making sure they're no grime or grit or grease on them. So here you just see me putting, I'm putting one coat of the base coat on all the cabinets. So as far as prep goes, all I did was clean the cabinets really well with TSP or you can just use like Dawn dishwashing soap with water. You just want to make sure that all of the dirt and grime is off your cabinets before you put your base color on. Just to make sure it's going to adhere and stick to the cabinets itself. So here's a great shot. We've already got our base coat on in chocolate and I have already put on the dry brush technique with antique black. You basically dip your brush into your paint, you all put it on a paper towel, and then you lightly brush strokes up and down on the cabinets and it kind of brings out a cool texture, almost like the grains coming through. Now I'm showing our third step here and it's our gray wash. You mix equal parts gray Limoges farmhouse paint with water. Mix it up very well and then apply it with a brush and then wipe it back off with a rag. It's a very easy technique, very fast, goes quick, and it's what gives the best effect because it just dulls down the base finish and blends together those brush marks as well and, and just gives a gray hue over the whole cabinets. I love this finish. So we're almost finished here. Now I'm just giving a light sanding with a 220 grit sandpaper. And after I sand all the cabinets, I will lightly clean them with a damp rag. Farmhouse paint, after you do the light sanding, will have this smooth, very finished feel to it, like it's been waxed. You do not have to put a top coat on farmhouse paint, but because this is kitchen cabinets, and there's just gonna be some extra you know, cooking and cleaning going on in the kitchen, I'm going to put um, a top coat just to protect the cabinets a little bit more and protect that finish. So to protect the finish, that took so many steps to do, I'm going to put our new uh, raincoat as a top coat on these cabinets. Raincoat is a waterproofer, kind of a top coat. It's water-based, non-toxic, and you can use it on interior or exterior items. So if you have an item you'd like to paint and put out on your porch, I recommend that you put a coat of raincoat, if not two coats on it. I'm only going to put one coat on and I'm just going to try to get it on real even as I can and kind of watch for drip marks. It would probably be better to put this on with our roller, but this is what I had and so I went with it. So anyway, 
I'm just going to cover all the cabinets in this. Let's take another look at the before shot before we painted the cabinets. And here's our after. And let's get the other side so you can see the back of the bar and also the new cabinets. First step is the base coat of chocolate. Second step is dry brush antique black. Third step is our gray wash with gray limoge. And our fourth step is lightly sand, wipe it clean. And final is the raincoat. Here's my cute mom and dad. Sold the farm and moved to the big city of Granite Falls, North Carolina. I'm so glad they're here and I'm hoping they're going to enjoy their new finish on their new cabinets and their new home.